What do you think? Is that boy doing the right thing? Eating without washing his hands? Let's check his hands. Oh, what are these small things visible in his hands? These are the microorganisms. Microorganisms are present everywhere in the atmosphere. Some of them are helpful, but some are harmful also. The harmful microorganisms causes various diseases to humans like rabies, malaria, cough and cold, jaundice, AIDS, etc. These disease-causing microorganisms enter our body through different means and target different organs. If they enter via nose, then they are likely to go into the lungs and cause respiratory diseases such as tuberculosis. The other microorganisms might affect organs of the body like liver, brain and red blood cells. Since we get to know that these microbes are harmful to us, so what next? We need to kill these microbes or make them inactive. Different methods are adopted to do so. Vaccinations, injections, drugs are some of the treatments. This chapter mainly focuses on the human diseases, their causes and methods of prevention. After going through this chapter, you will be able to know about diseases and their causes, infectious and non-infectious diseases, modes of transmission of diseases, treatment and prevention of diseases. With this chapter, let's take a tour of our body and know about its resisting power and the types of disease that can affect it.